welcome to Super Sock Saturday. I have a very short and fun workout for you to do. Some moves here are gonna be uniquely challenging, so I can't wait to do them with you. So get your fun socks on, or whatever socks. Be in your PJs, dress up, put your fancy clothes on, whatever makes you feel great, just do it. I want you to have an awesome Saturday. subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Also, make sure that you click the notification bell. This way you are notified every time I post a new workout. The workout is very simple today. There is no equipment required. One thing you might wanna have is a mat on the floor. When we're doing an exercise laying down on the floor, you might wanna have that to cushion your back. Other than that, hey, you need a hardwood floor, so you don't have hardwood floor in your living room, well, then your kitchen will do. And then, of course, socks. Yes, find some ordinary socks or just get yourself some fun ones and just enjoy your time working out. Yes, it's gonna be challenging, so let's do it. Let's get started with the workout today. I'm going to give you five moves and some of them you will be planking on the floor, some you will lay down on the floor and others you will be standing. In all movements, sliding on the floor with your toes is going to be important. Each of these exercises here today, I'm going to be working the right side and the left side. Every time that I finish a right and a left, that is one count. Each exercise will have eight rounds like that, okay? Well, let's get started with our first movement coming down to the floor into a plank position. This movement here will integrate a push-up. So let's get started with our knees on the floor first. First, you bring your knee forward and then out. Do that on the other side, forward and then out. From here, a push up. Let's do it modified one more time. And a push up with your knees down. This is already two rounds. Next level, knees up, knee forward, leg out, super straight. Other side. Then here, you can bring your knees down to the floor and give me a push up. Let's do one more like that. Knee, come out, all the way on the tiptoe, and the push-up. That was four rounds. Knee, and out. Knee, and out. Push-up, down, and up, good. Ooh, not easy. Here we go. Knee, another knee. One more. There we go. Ooh, and time. That was outstanding and hard already. Come up to standing this time. So set your feet directly under your hip and soften your knees, bring your hands on your waist. Bring your right leg back, hold, tuck it in, and stand. Same thing with the left. Bring it back, hold, Tuck it in quick and lift. Good job. Keep alternating sides. Back, tuck it in and lift. Slide back, tuck it in and lift. Now try this, add your arms right here. Just creates a bit more complexity to the move. Yeah, there it is. I have to look forward really focused, otherwise I lose my balance. Let's go, four more rounds. That was one. <laughs> Good. Make sure your abdominals are in. Nice and tight. That was two. Stay low. Looking good. Ah, one more to go. Ooh. Almost done. And time. Perfect. Not easy, is it? Alrighty, let's move to the next one. And it brings us down to the floor again. Now again, I'm going to start with my knees on the floor. Watch my modifications first. Knee tucks in. Come way back. Rotate. Make sure that your knee is supporting you on the floor. Lift your arm up. 
point your toes and slide it behind you. And then reset, do that on the other side. Tuck in, all the way back. Come to the side, lift your arm up, and slide the foot behind you. Let's do that with your knees up. Very slowly at first, bring your feet laying down on the side like that. Open up your arm, toes pointed, and reset. Alrighty, tuck in, back, twist, arm up, balance. That was round two. Now let's work with a little bit more agility. That was round three. Can't do it too fast though. Takes a lot of balancing control here. Tuck it in. How's it going? Hard one, right? That was four. Let's give me four more rounds of this. Turn, tuck in. One at a time gets you done. Tuck in. Breathe. You can always go back to bringing your knees down on the floor if this is getting a little too much. Two more. All the way. Last one coming. Here we go. Ah! Time! Well done. Move forward. This one we come down to the mat. Lay down with your mat, just supporting your upper back. You will need free space here so that your, your um, heels can glide. Let's get started modify first with your hips on the floor. It doesn't really matter which side you start first, as long as you do each side and then both of them combined make one count. And we will do eight. Ready, set, and go. Slide one heel forward, tuck it in, lift, extend, bend, and down. Other side, slide, bend, lift, extend, bend, and down. That was one round, go again, maybe a little faster. Up, bend, and down. Other side, forward, in, up, way up, bend, and down. Two rounds completed. Let's make it harder by lifting your hips off the floor. Slide your leg forward, in, up, up, down, and down. Go other side, up, and way up, down, and down. That was round three. Keep working, keep the hips up. They tend to wanna sag closer to the floor, so let that, avoid that by just tucking the glutes in really tight, squeeze them nice and, nice and firmly. That's right, you gotta do that. Yeah, you have to be very intentional about that. Three more rounds to go, come on forward, tuck it in, up, way up, down, and down. Stay with it, right on. And down, go again. We have it one more time on each side. Out, in, knee up, leg up, down, and down, last one, out, in, woohoo, and done with your eight rounds. Very good. And the next exercise takes us standing. Make sure that you have room side to side to slide out your legs. All right, let's get it done. Start with your feet directly under your hip. Bring your hands right here by your waist and slide out four times, just the right side. On the tiptoe, other side, four, three, two, and one. Not much modifications here other than doing a minimal bend on the knee. If you really have difficulties with knee mobility, you don't wanna go too low. If that is not a problem for you, well then push that leg out. Always four on each side and go. That was three rounds for you, right on. 
Other side, go. Four more rounds coming. Let's go. Ready? We were feeling this by now, yes? Alrighty, come on, come on, come on. Oh boy. And we can stand heart rate up. Hooray. One more on each side. Two, three, four, Ooh. and last four. Three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, come with me for a few stretches. Reach your fingertips up, inhale and exhale as you find the floor. Can't find the floor? Hey, no frustration over it, don't worry. Go where you can, try again. Maybe on your next bend over, and it might feel like, okay, I can go a little lower. And then on your third attempt, maybe even lower still, you could probably touch the floor already. And if you have optimal flexibility, yeah, try to find the entire hand on the floor. I don't exactly like that. Yeah, it stresses my hamstrings really bad if I go all the way. Oh, I feel it. So. Flexibility is always, there's always room for improvement. So pick up your toes, just let your quads extend. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Very good. I'm so glad you joined me here this Saturday. Click a like, leave a comment. I love to hear from you. Hey, looking forward to work out with you next week again. Take care until soon.